Hello, everybody. Question I have for you today is, do you want to attract more subscribers to your YouTube channel? Uh, more subscribers really means you're going to get more views to uh, more views to your channel, more views to your videos. More subscribers means more leads if you're um, trying to generate leads to your um, list uh, through your opt-in page. And more subscribers also means uh, more people to make sales for your products and uh, affiliate products, services, etc. So um, if you want to get the those first time visitors to subscribe to your channel, then you've got to convert them from a visitor or viewer into a subscriber. So what better way than the um, the channel trailer. So in this video, in this live stream video, or if you're watching the replay, uh, I'm going to talk about five tips, especially in 2018, uh, you need to uh, create a captivating channel trailer. So um, the, ch the channel trailer is like the first thing that people see <coughs> when they... <coughs> when they come to your channel homepage. So uh, my name is Herman Drost. I'm from uh, YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash iSiteBuild. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, then uh, hit this red subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon. Uh, my channel is all about how to grow your audience on YouTube so you can generate traffic, leads, subscribers, and sales on autopilot. So, you know, the beauty about YouTube more than Facebook and those other social sites, is that it's uh, search friendly. So uh, people can search for a particular um, topic or information and then up pops your video. And so you get that ongoing um, audience to your YouTube videos. So I just want to welcome everybody here, uh, Mesh3432. The Anti Marketer, good to see you. And King Eridan, I think that's uh, Jag, I think is your name. And uh, Traveling with Bruce, good to see you, Bruce. So today we're going to uh, talk about um, how to create. So you might have a channel trailer that is on your on your channel already. Actually, my channel trailer is about two years old. So I took it a look, took a look at it the other week and. Uh, I kind of redirect people to a squeeze page or, you know, free download, but actually the free download, the information there is a little outdated. So I realized that I've got to create a new channel trailer. So this week I've kind of been playing around, uh, looking at different channel trailers and um, trying to create a new one. So, um, so if I want to go into um, some tips to create a memorable, or an, an attractive channel trailer so that, you know, when people come to your channel, they will want to uh, convert from just being a viewer to a subscriber. So your channel trailer only applies to first time visitors. So not the people that are already subscribed. So if they've already subscribed, they're not going to see your channel trailer, but uh, you get a lot of new, new visitors, then that's the first thing they'll check out. They'll check out your banner and they'll check out um, your channel trailer. So, uh, I don't know if I pronounce it rightly, but Kojega says I'm starting a new channel. So, um, yeah, definitely the channel trailer. When you start a new channel, then you want to definitely get that channel trailer up there that, <clears throat> or your channel, channel banner that kind of gives a quick, you know, three second o overview of your channel. But the channel trailer, people are going to click on that and they're going to um, ask themselves a question, you know, should I subscribe to this channel? Uh, good to see you, Planner Guy says, I made a trade months ago. I would love to, if you could review, if maybe give helpful comments. Uh, okay, maybe we'll take a look at that later. Um, let, me, let me quickly go through the five tips to create a captivating channel trailer. And um, maybe I'll even show you how to uh, change your current one. 
um, using the Samon Ecamm Live uh, software I'm using today. So I can do a screen share. But uh, the first tip is that you've got to create a hook. So when people first, and this is actually to any for any video, when they first come to your video, especially a channel trailer, you got to provide a hook. So I would say, you know, for, you could say, hi, my name's Herman. Um, if you want to generate traffic leads and subscribers on autopilot, then uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And um, I, I uh, upload new videos every Monday, Thursday, and I do live streams on Friday. So, you know, you're telling people right up front uh, why they should subscribe to your channel and also when um, when you, you know, your schedule for when you upload new videos to your channel. So it could be once a week, could be twice a week, etc. So, um, so that, that leads into the second point, you know, what kind of content do you create? So you could get, you could sh even show some examples. Um, you could even show your, uh, your video page, uh, or go to some, some different videos and, you know, do quick, quick kind of, uh, screenshots of your, you know, the type of, uh, videos that you create. Uh, you might also want to, uh, if you have any credentials, you know, maybe, um, in my channel trailer, I said, well, I got, uh, 20, you know, almost 23,000 subscribers and, uh, 4 million views on my channel being, uh, you know, using YouTube videos to generate, uh, leads and generate traffic, generate sales on autopilot uh, for several years. So it's a great, great source of revenue. Um, so you might, uh, that third point is, you know, what is the, what is your credibility? You know, what, what, why should people listen to you? Um, so you might just, uh, show, you know, if you don't have any, uh, particular things to show, you could say, well, besides having a YouTube channel, this is also what I do. So you might, you might be a, uh, you might show yourself at the gym or something like that. But I would say you're going to keep your channel trailer short. You know, I would say kind of, kind of like under two minutes. Um, cause people don't have much time. So that's why you want to hook them at the beginning. So they stay, uh, you know, watching your trailer. So definitely mention, um, that's the fourth point, you know, how often you upload, uh, and, uh, you know, make sure that you're consistent with your uploads. So when you tell them when you upload, you know, make sure you kind of stick to that schedule. And if you change it, then you can always change your channel trailer. Um, Generally, people make the channel trailer unlisted, but I don't, uh, you know, maybe that's a way that you could quickly change your channel trailer, but uh, you could also make it public. So you could have a your channel trailer plus that channel trailer could also appear in the search engines. So uh, you could do that. And then the, um, the last tip for your channel trailer is to definitely give a call to action. So at the end, of the video, you could again say, well, if you, you know, if you definitely want to generate, uh, you know, if you definitely want to use videos to, uh, or, you, or you want to grow your channel, in my case, you want to grow your channel and you want to generate, a, a, you know, have an audience that you can uh, use for your products, uh, send to your products and your services, etc. cetera, then uh, hit the red subscribe button. Then at the, at the end of the, uh, at the end of the trailer, what YouTube does, they automatically um, give you a red subscribe button. So you don't need to actually put that in your video. Some people do. Um, but when your video ends, then automatically the red subscribe button pops up. So, um, uh, Dr. Stan Eckerd saying unlisted or private. Yeah, I would say just, um, unlisted, you know, have it unlisted, but you can also make it public. So, um, the only thing is when you make it public, make sure that you turn off any monetization because, um, you, you know, you don't want to show any ads, uh, during your, cha during your channel, channel trailer. So, um, some tips regarding the channel trailer is to, um, when, when you name your channel trailer, don't call it channel trailer because that doesn't do anything for first time visitors. So you're going to have that, um, that title of your trailer. So you could, uh, you could say, in my case, could be how to 
uh, get more views on YouTube. You know, that could be a, a title. Um, if it's for a local, if you're a local business, like a plumbing business, you could name it uh, Maryland, uh, Maryland Plumbing uh, Business or uh, Maryland Plumber or something like that. Um, so that helps to get your channel trailer also in the search engines. So um, definitely don't call it a channel trailer. And um, yeah, keep it, some people have channel trailers like 30 seconds, so that I think that's, I don't think you want to make it five minutes, but I would say try to keep it under two minutes. And um, if you can do it in 60 seconds, that's good. But as I say, two minutes at the most. And um, I would say also add some music because um, that kind of, you know, so, a music that kind of goes with your video because uh, that kind of adds a bit of um, flavor to it. And you could also add some B-roll. Um, say, for instance, if you uh, if you ever spoke at a conference or uh, if you did fitness, you know, you're, you're training in the gym or something like that, then you could show a quick shot of you training the, in the gym or teaching teaching somebody or something like that. So that, that's the B-roll that you quickly uh, show those short clips, you know, in your channel trailer. And um, and also you don't want to use cards. Don't add any cards to your channel trailer because um, I think the main thing with your channel trailer, you want to get people to subscribe. So you want to have a kind of your channel trailer uh, laser focused to get the people to subscribe. So at the beginning, you could ask the people to subscribe. Then you're going to talk a little bit about uh, what they're going to get. And then at the end again, you're going to tell the people to subscribe and you're going to give them a reason why they should subscribe. So don't, don't just tell people to subscribe, but give them a reason to subscribe. So therefore, don't add any cards to your channel trailer. Don't monetize that video. And um, I would also say don't add a bunch of, um, you know, call to action so cards or end screens you could add, add an end screen but you know right at the end of your video is going to be that big red subscribe button popping up and um i notice a lot of people in the in the comments on some of my videos say hey uh, you know I, I created a channel trailer but um i don't see the red subscribe button and that the reason behind that is that they've logged into their own channel so if you're logged into your own channel then you're not going to see that uh, red subscribe button pop up because you, you're already subscribed to your channel. So um, you know if you want to check out how it works, then you know you can um, you know view your channel trailer from another video from another uh, another channel. And uh, another thing with the channel trailer, you're going to have that um, there's going to be this description that's that you know right beside your channel trailer. So I would also use, so that as people are watching the channel trailer, then they might also be reading the description. So it's going to be a certain portion of that they, they're going to be, um, be able to read. So I would say also put a subscribe link in your, in your description and also to summarize uh, maybe a two or three sentences, summarize what um, why people should subscribe, you know, a little bit, a summary of, of what they get for your channel. So you're going to have a summary of your channel. Um, you're going to have a subscribe link in there. And you could also, you know, if you have a, um, a website that's associated with the channel, you can put that in there. And so people could, um, you know, uh, go to your squeeze page or opt into your uh, squeeze page there. So, and I would also say that, um, don't just use a recently uploaded video so that you have that option. If you don't have, if you don't have a channel trailer at all, or you're too lazy to create a channel trailer, then choose like the best video that you have on your channel. So hopefully it's, you know, under two minutes and you can upload, you can actually uh, choose that video to um, use as your channel trailer. But I would say, you know, just, just create a channel trailer that specifically promotes 
uh, you know, the whole focus is to get that subscribe, get sub uh, chain convert views to subscribers. So you definitely want to, um, uh, you know, to create a separate video for that. And um, by default, the ads don't appear on the channel when it's playing on the channel page. So um, so the whole idea with YouTube is keep the keeps the viewer focused on on learning about and subscribing to your channel. So if the if the viewer has already subscribed, then they're going to see a video under what to watch next. So it'll be your probably latest upload or your latest uh, playlist or something. So um, so let me uh, let me show you a quick. Uh, I create a channel trailer. I want to get your take on this uh, uh, channel trailer I created. Let me see if I can get it rolling so you can see it, and then uh, maybe give get your opinion on it. It's just one I kind of put together this week, and uh, let me know let me know what you think. So I'm going to switch here. Okay, let's take a look. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Herman Drost from DrostDesigns.com. If you want to learn how to generate traffic, leads, and sales, hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Herman Trost from DrossDesigns.com. If you want to learn how to generate traffic, leads, and sales on autopilot, consider subscribing. I publish new videos every Monday, Thursday, and do live streams on Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Over the past few years, I've been using my YouTube channel to attract subscribers, build a list, and generate leads for my products and services. I've also been helping other YouTubers to grow their own channels. My channel has grown steadily to over 23,000 subscribers and over 4 million views at the time of taking this video and continues to grow steadily every single month. I've discovered that growing a YouTube channel takes passion, persistence and patience. So how do you avoid the common mistakes most YouTubers make while growing their channels? Don't worry, I'm here to help. On this channel, you'll get videos on how to stay motivated, how to customize, optimize, and promote your YouTube videos, and most importantly, how to monetize your videos so you can generate traffic, leads, and subscribers on autopilot. Here are some samples of video tutorials I've uploaded to my YouTube channel over the last few years. Here are a few testimonials from my current subscribers that show how my videos have helped grow their own channels. If you want to learn how to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads, subscribers, and sales on autopilot, hit the big red subscribe button. You'll be glad you did. I'll see you in the comments of my next video. Thanks for watching. Okay, a uh, little bit of overlap there. Okay, got a bit of double. Uh, I don't know if you heard. Did did you all hear that or see that video? You were able to hear it properly, but got a little bit uh, mixed up. Let me turn the sound down here. So, um, yes, that was uh, sort of just showing you an idea of the channel trailer and um, what uh, what you can do with it. I think it's got should be like uh, about two minutes long, but um, you could have it like 60 seconds or so, like something like that. Okay, just have a look at it quick, quickly in the comments here. If you have any uh, questions about channel trailers. Um, okay, what's your opinion on Logan Paul? Uh, I didn't really get into that at all. Marina saying good morning. Uh, it's uh, good morning to you, Marina. And uh, it's good afternoon here. Uh, it's Tate said I've been making videos since 2006. Then, if you've been making videos, then you should have millions of subs by now. Yeah, I've actually I started my YouTube channel in 2006, but um, I didn't really do much for a few years. Um, probably in the last two or three years, I kind of.
being focused more on it. But uh, in the beginning, I just uh, was had a video uploaded now and again. So I think the age of the channel doesn't really represent, you know, I mean, if I'd totally focused in 2006, it'd be a lot different. But I think one thing to keep in mind is that even even if you have a lot of subscribers, you know, a lot of people, they might subscribe to your channel. Uh, they might have subscribed several years ago, but then they've uh, changed their interest or they've gone off the net or they've uh, you know moved on sort of thing. So those people might be still subscribed to your channel, but uh, and see and reflect in your numbers, but they're not actually um, actively engaged with your videos anymore. So I think the subscriber numbers, I mean, it might look good, but it may not be an accurate reflection of active participants on your channel. So I, 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 I think it's a little bit overrated. Maria Belit says, I try to put an ad in my channel. I tried a different way. It doesn't work. What can I do? I have more than 10,000 view, uh, 100,000 views and 3,000 subscribers. Please need help. Yeah. Um, I assume that um, you're trying to monetize your channel. And I've seen in different forums that um, that people have tried to monetize. Uh, some people have got uh, 10,000 views and then they've tried to um, apply for YouTube partner status and tried to get their videos monetized. But some people have been waiting for weeks and other people have been waiting for months. And on one forum, this uh, this one person even emailed YouTube and YouTube replied saying, oh, we've been uh, so busy over Christmas, etc." I think it's just an excuse, but uh, the only thing I can say is to um, be patient um, and you can't push YouTube to go any faster. And uh, the other recommendation I'd say is uh, don't rely on AdSense because, you know, if they're taking so long to um, enable monetization on your channel, then I would look for other sources of revenue. So I definitely look for another way to generate revenue from your uh, channel. And uh, probably the best way is uh, affiliate programs. You know, you can go to ClickBank, JVZoo, uh, Commission Junction, choose an affiliate pro uh, program that's associated with your niche. And then you can get like 50% uh, commission for promoting those products, you know, do a review video or um, talk about, uh, you know, what's what what the product does or how it will benefit or solve the problems of it in your audience. So flannel guy said it was fine. Okay. Uh, thanks for the feedback. So um, estate said I'm uploading a video call. I need subscribers. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know how that would go, but um, I think if I saw a video, I just saying I need subscribers. Um, I think you have to also come up with a why, because people are not going to subscribe if they don't know what they're going to get. So a lot of times in the comments, people say subscribe to my channel, you know, and, and there's no no reason to subscribe if there is not a good, uh, you know, valuable information. So I would say, you know, if you're creating videos for your channel, you have to kind of tap into what the needs, wants, and uh, problems of your audience and try to solve solve their problems or entertain them or provide valuable information. So I think that's um, uh, the best thing to do. Um, if you want to add a channel trailer, then all you have to do is uh, just log into your into your channel homepage, and you click on that little pencil icon that's on your uh, channel trailer, and then you just select for new visitors, and then then you then you can select a um, uh, you can select a, a video from your uh, from your channel or you can put a URL. So if you've got an unlisted URL, you could just put that URL on there and then that will become your channel trailer. So 
I think that's um, that's kind of pretty easy. Um, if you if you don't see a way to put on the channel trailer, maybe your channel is not customized, so you want to click on the or turn on the channel customization for the channel, and then you'll actually see it. Finally, guys, saying is there a way through analytics to determine how many subs you got due to the trailer? Uh, I don't think so. Um, you're probably just gonna through your subs uh, when you click on the subscriber link in your YouTube analytics, you're gonna see um, the videos that are that uh, are doing well in search, the videos that are doing well in suggested. Um, also the browse features, which is your channel homepage. But unless you have created a tracking URL, then um, you're not going to be able to see specifically which video, um, you know, how many subs that got. But you can definitely, um, you can definitely just go to, um, you know, to your channel your channel homepage or your, your YouTube analytics and to see, you know, if the, if the subs increased, you know, through your videos. So I don't think you can track it individually. Um, Tate said, I've got, uh, only got 85. If you sub, I'll get, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So I think, um, there's other places besides a channel trailer that, you can use to get subs, get subscribers. So I think the channel, the channel banner is what the first thing that people see. The channel trailer is very important, but you can also include the um, subscribe link. Uh, you can add that to your comments. You could be into your first comment, you know, it's when all those comments, you know, that you can pin one to the top and ask people to subscribe because uh, they'll get more videos on such and such. So you can put in the comments. Um, also at your end screen, you know, when, you've, when, you, when your video ends, this could be all your videos. Um, you'll be able to um, ask people, you know, get, uh, direct people to subscribe because you get that, uh, that circular uh, icon that ends, uh, that, that appears at the end of your end screen. And that, uh, you know, people click on that, they'll be able to subscribe. And you've also got the, um, what's it called? The watermark, the subscribe watermark, I call it. So that, that you can put on each, every single video across your channel. So when you, when you do that, you have that little icon, subscribe icon, a little uh, logo at the bottom right of your video that appears on all, all your videos across your channel. So that's, that's another way to, um, add, you know, to make sure that you uh, got all the, all your bases covered. So definitely set on the video, definitely have that subscribe watermark uh, across all the videos on your channel. Um, put it, put the subscribe link in your description and tell people why they should subscribe. And then also you could, um, uh, add it, you know, to uh, other videos. You know, if, you, if they're not if they're not already subscribed, you can uh, you know add it to those videos or add it to those descriptions. And if you got uh, the TubeBuddy extension, then there's a way that you can. If you don't have the subscribe link in all the descriptions of all your videos, there's a way in TubeBuddy which you can add that subscribe link across all the videos on your channel. And I mean, in all the descriptions on, on all the videos on your channel, just in a few seconds. So that's, uh, that's a great way to kind of, you know, you can also do that if you want to, um, get a video to, uh, appear in the description across all the videos. AWAR blog say, guys, I'm doing an awesome live stream tonight. Uh, okay. Somebody is going, trying to, get their self-promotion. Um, just uh, one thing I wanted to mention was, um, you know, if, if any of you need help with your channel, 
Uh, I do have a um, membership course that's got 70 videos on there. It's called 2videobootcamp.com. Put a uh, here it is two video boot camp. Um, that's got like 70 videos in there, and it kind of goes into how to customize your channel, how to how to um, optimize your channel, optimize, create videos, optimize your videos, promote your videos, and so it kind of covers all the bases, all these different modules that go into um, you know if you need a, if you need help with. Uh, your um, particular channel. So an, all, the video, all the videos on my channel, which are free, you can kind of search on there and you can, it kind of goes into a lot of the uh, ways to grow your channel. But in the membership course, you don't have to worry about an introduction and screens and cards and all the other distractions. So it just goes straight into the tutorial of how to uh, grow your channel. And if you, if any of you haven't uh, subscribed to my Facebook group, then definitely go to uh, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash two video bootcamp. And uh, then you can um, ask questions in the group there and interact with other people in there and um, say hi. But you know, when you, when you, uh, in the Facebook group, definitely, you know, give an introduction to who you are, etc. There's a few questions that you need to ask, ask to join the group. So answer those questions and you can join the group. So if any, any of you have any more questions, um, then put them in the chat. Um, one thing I saw today was this, uh, I know this is YouTube, but I saw that Facebook is uh, changing their ways to favoring like family friends family fr friendly news feed. So I think this, uh, this means that, you know, if you're putting uh, videos on Facebook, for instance, then they're not going to get as much traction as they got before. So that's just one kind of news item I saw today that Facebook is, um, you know, kind of changing their way that they, uh, what they have in the news feed. Uh, Trevor and Bruce said, are you using OBS to do these live streams? Uh, no, I'm using uh, something called Ecamm Live. It's called e Ecamm Live Beta. Uh, you can look it up. It's actually, it's actually only for Macs, but it's like $29 and you can, you can, um, you can do screen sharing. You can add, you can put in images like this, uh, this image here. You can put an image in there. And you can share, you know, you can share your screen. You can also import videos like I showed you before. So it's a uh, OBS. I think uh, I kind of didn't, I was thinking about that, but I heard it takes a lot of resources. And also it's much harder to learn with Ecamm Live. It uh, just takes you a few minutes to get it set up. And then you can, you can use it to live stream on Facebook and also with YouTube. The only thing with YouTube is that um, you cannot, see the comments in the actual live stream. So you got to actually have the comment and have to have another computer where you can sort of monitor the comments. That's why I've got, um, I've got the, uh, the live, live window open, but on another screen, I've got, um, the comments on a different computer. Uh, and Bruce said, I started your live stream as a Hangout feature so far. Yeah, the Hangout feature is great because you don't need a certain number of subscribers. You don't need a certain number of views. You can just just go into the, uh, click on the live stream and click on the live events. And then you're good to go. So, yeah, it's a great feature. The only thing I didn't like about the Hangout feature is that you uh, you do the, get that Google logo that uh, appears on your live stream. But... Uh, you could actually chop that out at the end if you use the um, use the enhancement feature on YouTube. You can actually trim that from the end of your video uh, if you know if you want to take that time. So yeah, I want to thank everybody for attending this live stream. Those people out on replay, thanks for attending, and uh, I hope you all have a great weekend. And thanks for uh, being here. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.